Hey guys, today I'm going to do a review on the Reds Baby Drive 3 Platinum Pram. So I have the bassinet mode on. When you buy it, it comes with the bassinet in the seat. I will say though, on YouTube, I did a little bit of extra research about this pram just to, you know, check that I had my facts correct. And on the Reds Baby YouTube channel, it, there is a demonstration and it is called Red's Baby Drive 3 and 5 Platinum. So I'm not sure too much what the difference between the 3 and the 5 are. Perhaps there is uh, just fabric and textiles changes between the 3 and the 5. It said 3 and 5 in the title and it was the same video. He didn't say this is a 3 and this is a 5. So I'm going to write 3 slash 5 on this because it is... Um, apparently very similar or the same prim. I personally think that the differences are going to mainly be in the textiles for the 3 and the 5. So this is technically the 3, but like I said, I haven't seen too much difference other than the textiles for the 5. Start with the handlebar. I really quite like this handlebar and it's different to have this pattern. It is like a leatherette kind of feel and of course it has the indented logo which I really love that they're doing this at the moment. We have the bassinet on with the boot cover and down on the boot cover we have this really nice detail as well. So I really love that everyone's doing this now. We can remove the boot cover by unmagnetizing this. Inside we have this nice quilted look. And the fabric is really nice and soft as well and it feels really nice for summer as well as winter. The coolest thing about this bassinet is it is rated for babies to sleep in it at night. So you can just unzip these two parts here. Oh, that's claustral. <laughs> and that allows mesh to go flow through all the way through. So there's no, no nothing at the top here. And Bubby can sleep in there. So I feel like this is a great feature for sleeping at night if you're going to stay somewhere while Bubby's new. But I really just think that it's not very a nice design to have that grey piece of fabric like hanging down like that. It would be nice if it could maybe be rolled or like tucked away. I'm just, it's just a look but I'm not a fan of that just piece of flap fabric flap hanging off and it's a different color so it really stands out. Come around to the hood and we have a peekaboo window or a breathable window. Carry handle also says Red's Baby which is a nice touch. And this is a really nice feature. I feel like I'm getting super picky when I say like I hate that the fabric, um, <laughs> the grey fabric hangs out. It's not a major thing. It does it more on the pram seat so I'll show you that later. We have a zipper on our hood, it goes all the way around and this rolls down and we have more airflow again but we have this little tab on here so we can roll it up. So I don't know why they put the tab here but not down there. This part is probably just for sleeping but I feel like if you have it on your pram you'd want to use it as a feature like I'm just thinking of a hot day and you can have it all open and let the breeze go through and Bubby's still in the shade because of all of the hood but yeah it's <laughs> just got this flap down there. Uh, Red's Baby is an Australian company I've just found out that basically only sells in Australia I think so they're obviously going to make a pram that is suited to our climate and it gets quite warm here so I can see the fabrics that they've used they've made a good choice in that to put the hood down you have two buttons either side you'll have to press them at the same time or maybe not you can just shuffle them down one at a time is that a thing if you've only got one hand i guess <laughs> well that's not a bad feature i'm not sure if it's supposed to do that but that is handy if you've got bub in one hand the reason it does that is because when it comes back up it's actually a handle so that's why it needs to have the stability let's come down the pram and look at what we've got down here 
They have nice big wheels front and back. The back ones appear to be foam filled. They feel foam filled in my opinion. And the front ones are just like a rubber um, coating, I guess. But I guess you take most of the weight in the back wheels anyways. And then we have the basket. I probably should have looked at this before I bought it. I don't like the basket. But the reason the basket is like this is because it can convert to a double pram. Now, I think I like the option of the double pram because it's such a small frame for a double pram. Like, I would never think this could be a double pram and all you do to convert it to a double pram I looked it up <laughs> is take the wheel off and then click on this little adapter that kind of just sits over here you have to unclip this part of your basket this snap here and then clip that adapter on on both sides obviously you have to take that wheel off as well and then the seat will go back in as uh, so the seat will go in obviously put your wheels back on sorry <laughs> that will only face forward it won't be rear facing seat at the top you put a, an adapter on which will slightly move the seat forward and you can put the bassinet up there or the top seat so going back to this odd basket it lays nice and flat and we've got this little pull tab and it opens out but it's really not a very big basket you do have some pockets up here which is great but the sides aren't big on this basket it's really like yeah I don't know I feel like it's a disappointing basket I don't want to be harsh but I just that's how I feel and the basket must be fully closed before folding the pram otherwise it will break so if your basket's left like this and you try and fold it it will break so it has to be flat so keep that in mind. Brake is a really nice click on click off brake and it works really really well. Uh, the only thing is when I took it out I struggled to find it but it wasn't hard to find just that I had hung my nappy bag so I couldn't see it. Once I found it it was very easy to use and if you use the same pram every time you'll know where it is. I totally forgot something. The handlebar there are these two levers one on each side and they control the height of the handle. So you just squeeze them in. Oh man, I've honestly been struggling with these so much. Squeeze them in and then you can choose another spot. I think you have to do it at the exact same time. I don't think one likes to be done and not the other. Now it's on camera, it wants to be perfectly good. This is what I just noticed. The safety for when it folds down. It just like sticks there. But in saying that, I'm pretty sure the other day I saw a friend's pram do it. And I was like, oh, that's not so bad. But I feel like I was being like really critical of this pram when I opened it. Um, so it's not a major thing. It does stay out of the way. I haven't got it caught on anything. It doesn't seem to be a problem. It's just like that when you're like being all like nitty gritty, I could definitely see that like sticking out. A few more things on the frame. I personally don't think that it pushes the easiest. I feel like it's a bit stiff. Again, I'm a little bit picky. I've become picky these days. Um, the best example I have, it wasn't the Reds Baby Jive, it was the Reds Baby Metro, a friend of mine um, and I were out. I had my Nunamix next and I had to push the Metro and the Nunamix and the Nunamix just turned so easily. So I got my Nunamix here at home and put it with my Reds Baby and I was pushing them and I just felt that stiffness in the front like I was really like squeezing my fist and turning it left and right whereas with my Nuna I was just really gently yeah like moving it I felt so I, I do feel like it's stiff and I have a thing about prams like that I don't love it I almost forgot this part so when I unboxed this pram it came with adapters and I was like okay cool 
So I looked at the adapters and I was thinking to myself the whole time, I was like, those are Unity adapters and I specifically ordered Maxi Cozy adapters. But Bassinet uses Unity adapters. So I'm guessing if you buy this tram and buy a Unity capsule, it basically comes with the capsule adapters already. These are, like I said, the, the Unity slash bassinet adapters and they come with the pram and or the bassinet because it comes all in one box. But this part on the side is actually how it attaches into the pram. And I find this really tricky on the seat to get in and out. I'm going to put the seat in forward facing. So I'm just putting it in normally. So I'm holding the belly bar and the back of the seat. Now to get it out, you have to use this. Like this is all you get to one finger, maybe two if you're lucky. And then on both sides. And then I've got my thumb as grip and two fingers on there. And then like I'm just clawing at it with the rest. And I find that really challenging. I don't know if that's a normal thing, if anyone else has had the complaints. Like I said, I checked on the Reds baby to check that I was using it right. And then I even thought that maybe it would be easier forward facing because I'd only been using it parent facing. So that's parent facing now. And it's actually worse again because the hood's there. And I was also kind of using it in the middle position. So I thought that that was maybe worse. And it is, it honestly is. It's easiest to get it off forward facing and sitting up. Yeah, so I honestly, I'm not even trying to muck around because I was just trying to get that out quickly. Maybe you come from the back. Oh, that's easier. Come from the back. I still really think that that's annoying. I know I've done it quite a few times, but my fingers are red and they've got those little lines through them. And I feel like I don't want that from a friend, but I'm gonna use every single day. Oops. It does line up very easily. It's not hard to, to do that, but oh, I do find that very challenging to get in there. I was, yeah, quite shocked when I noticed that. And another thing, if the pram seat has weight in it, like a baby, um, I tried when I took it out to turn it around with the baby and that was all that was in it, just a pram liner and a baby and a blanket. It wasn't an old baby, it was a young baby, so it was like a three month old baby, and so not very heavy. And I struggled to get the seat out, I actually had to get someone to help me to pick it up and turn it around. So I feel like that was where I was like, that is way too hard. I do know it's challenging to do it with a child in it, um, but it <laughs> shouldn't have been that hard um, with such a young child in it. If you have this pram and that is not an issue for you, can you please tell me how you got around it or like if it's just not a big enough issue for you? I am genuinely curious because that is the biggest downfall I have with this pram. That is it. That it's tricky to get the seat on and off and that's such a big thing that you do if you're going to fold it up all the time. And especially with the second seat. I don't have the second seat but I'm going to assume that the attachments are the same. And you have to take the second seat off to fold it. I'm sure you would have to. Quick overview of the seat. And it's quite a nice seat. We again have the Reds Baby in the vinyl or the pleather handlebar here. And I thought that these patches were really nice. And I posted that in my unboxing and I thought they were really cool. And someone mentioned a really good thing to me. Again, we live in Australia and the climate of this pram has been designed for Australia. But if you, like, say, went to the park and the little one hopped out and played at the park and this pram didn't have the hood on because not very often do you get a baby or a child out of a pram and put the hood back on. It's not very often that you do that unless you have something in the pram seat that you're storing. Uh, so basically, the sun. If the sun gets on this, I don't know about you, but in Australia... <laughs> 
Um, have you ever gotten in a car that has leather seats on a hot day and you have gotten out so quickly because your bum got burnt or your leg or... Um, you don't even have to be wearing really, really short clothes. Sometimes, like, the back of your leg down here will get burnt from the, like, right on the corner. Uh, so that was um, something that someone brought to me, is that perhaps that could get heated up by the sun and it could burn baby. And most pram liners kind of go in the back. They don't come all the way around up the side. So that was just something to note. I still like the panelling, but now I'd be a little bit more cautious uh, about the sun so all you'd have to do is when baby gets out put the hood over so that the leather doesn't get hot but I guess that's the same with these that could be the exact same thing they could get in and then hold it and it could be in the sun so that's and a lot of prams have these leatherette on the front but not so much black the seat back is nice and high and this seat does hold 20 kilos I really really like the idea of these straps it has this snap on here so the strap has to stay on I do think it's better for older children though because when I put the straps on the harness was uh, tightened and I had to untighten it to get this buckle to come out from here otherwise it wouldn't have fit but personally I prefer to take these straps off when they're smaller because they're just too big and bulky and in the way. Five point quick breakaway harness which is amazing because you can just do the bottom up or just the top up. One there and you can do the other one if you want to make it like a three point harness if you're really in a rush or you can just put like the bottom on like a lot of people do with toddlers Toddlers don't like to have the top straps done up, so they just put the bottom harness on them and the toddlers are a little bit happier with that. Again, a really nice quilted detailed hood on the inside and it's in a really nice material. This belly bar is really odd to me. It's very narrow compared to a standard belly bar that I've ever seen before, so that was really surprising. But to be fair, there's no real need to make it bigger. I guess um, it just makes it easier for them to chew on. Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, when I did put my belly bar cover on, I noticed that a standard belly bar uh, cover wasn't going to be the happiest fit on here because usually belly bars are thicker. So there was a lot of excess fabric left over. But again, that's not the biggest thing in the world. Just something to note if you're going to order a pram liner for your pram. The footrest has two buttons either side and that can be adjusted all the way down or that's as far up as it goes all the way down and then the footrest can be used just here which is a great thing to have. Oh yes back to the belly bar I'm so sorry the belly bar is pivotal I really do love that I wish it would go all the way down I don't know why it stops but anyways that's how it's been designed but it does swivel out of the way which is a, a really good feature let's come back to the hood so we have multiple zips so we have an extendable part here which is already out so that can come in and be smaller so there's the normal hood and then behind the pram pushing it we have a peekaboo window And this is the part that I was saying before, how I hate that the fabric comes out. And that's just me being picky. It's just really picky, but it is a little annoying. But I love the look of this, and it's really nice and soft. The back zipper as well. So here's the back zipper. And this shows us a nice big mesh panel, which is amazing. Love that. Breeze all the way through. And it has a little tab so you can roll it up. The basket and the wheels are all the same because it's the same frame. But the back of the seat has some really nice functions. So you have a nice big holder. You, it looks like a drink bottle holder to me. Uh, but you could put anything in there. But I definitely feel like that would fit a drink bottle. 
and then you have this nice little pouch with velcro and it's covered in you could put your phone wallet keys whatever else you need to put in there but of course you could put your phone wallet keys whatever in here I almost forgot about this little bag me and this bag of nemesis <laughs> there's two ways it can go on hooked on with these onto here you can snap it so the strap goes around snap it to each other I'll show you basically hang it over and then there's a snap on there and then a snap here and here so you just do both of those snaps up oh didn't work one second like that and it hangs on it goes up here around it comes down cross up around and attaches I think this is a really awesome idea I love the bag I love that it comes with it it matches the pram I just I really love that I don't know why they didn't put a little detail like this on there because that would have been really nice on the top but anyways it doesn't matter it's a huge caddy it's got pockets and stuff in here I'm not even sure what's in here two bottles some dummies some little booties it's got pockets and a little zipper pouch and my favorite thing which is this bottle holder so it's like mesh mesh bottle holder so I really like that and it sits up straight like it stays straight you know what I mean like it doesn't tilt to one side like this it's well it does a little bit but not compared to other ones that I have seen or used my main issue with this caddy is it seems to get in the way of the pram so much it's okay when the handlebar is completely at its max but I just feel like it kind of like gets in the way a bit when the handles at any lower setting sorry it gets in the way when the handle is at its lowest setting so if you are short it gets really annoying and in the way uh, this is just one up so this is on setting two technically but I really found that even just like reclining the seat or putting the bassinet on with that bag there is so annoying if the handle is on one so it's like you have to unfold it put the handlebar where it's supposed to go where you remember it goes and then put the bassinet or the seat on because otherwise I feel like it gets in the way the last thing to show is the fold so we're just going to fold it with the seat on because it is a nice fold with the seat on we're going to put the handlebar all the way down we've put the hood in already oh yeah and this is annoying how this pops out a little bit again not a major thing I guess if you push the little flap down and push it in and away it will stay in there but otherwise it pops out the back it's fine though <laughs> so we're going to use the two triggers on each side down here and so there's two so there's one on here one on the other side of course at the same time we're going to squeeze them in like pistol grips we're going to squeeze these fingers and it's going to allow the frame the handle to drop forward so squeeze and we're going to go forward. Like it's not going to drop, it's going to be pushed forward. And it does fold up nicely in single mode and forward facing. Why oh, didn't it? That was okay. It locked. It does lock. It's supposed to lock. Now, something that's really nice about this prem is that the wheels are touching the ground. There is no fabric touching the ground and it's folded so there's no risk of it falling over and getting scratched the fabric's not going to get dirty or in the mud drops in the mud and you don't have to put your seat somewhere on the ground so you can put your frame in the boot and then your seat in the boot it can all go in together except the seat which I don't love <laughs> 
So to bring it back up, all we do is use, oh, wrong ones, the safety on the side. Oh, well that went down quickly. We just have this little safety here, so we're gonna push the frame down and it's gonna give us some uh, room and we can just push this safety off. You can, of course, fold the uh, pram with the seat off if you can get it off. It's doable, but I don't like it. It hurts my fingertips and I just don't like that. So if you were using the bassinet, you would take the bassinet off. You can leave the adapters on there, that's fine. Two triggers and squeeze. I feel like it's definitely a little bit tighter than what I'm used to to pull with those fingers, but it is a new pram as well. And then just bring it all the way over. Not a bad fall. Remember, this can be a double pram, so the frame has to be bigger to accommodate for a second seat. So I see that in there, otherwise it could be a lot smaller. The metro frame would be a lot smaller because it just has the one seat on there. It's a single to double, which is great. The bottom seat can only face forward. I have been searching for a seat that can do both and I have found the Nuna Demigro can face rear facing in the seat at the bottom and it can have a bassinet down the bottom. So this pram can only have the seat down the bottom and the bassinet and capsule at the top. So you always have to have your toddler down the bottom. Let me quickly show you the bassinet and what I mean about getting it on with the, whatever this thing is, this little caddy. So we'll put this on. Adapters for the bassinet and the bassinet. Oh, okay, of course it's gonna work now. Oh, it's not actually. See, it is getting caught on the bag back here. So you just have to, I guess, move it out of the way. I don't know why it wasn't working for me before. It was being an absolute pain. If you bring it to the full height, it works well. I think I've done a really, really, really thorough review on this pram. I think I'd already made my mind up on it before I'd done the review, but I wanted to do a little bit more in depth to be a bit more fair. But I'm not sure that this pram will stay in my collection. It's lovely, but I feel like there are other prams that I do enjoy more. The basket and basically these adapter things for the seat is what kills this pram and this flappy thing is what kills it for me. But the rest of it is really nice. And everyone has their own opinions on what they enjoy, and I tried to pick out the really good things that I enjoyed about this pram as well. But not every product is for every person. And I'm really sad to say that, but yeah, it's not my favorite. And I'm really disappointed because I've been waiting for so long to get one of these. And I bought a new one thinking that I would love it. And I, I don't love it, so yeah. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. I hope that this video was helpful and you learned a lot about this red baby drag because I had a lot to say about it. <laughs> if you would like to see more videos on this pram, I have the box opening on my channel and how to wash it as well. One more thing to add into the review is that the hood couldn't come off to be washed from the pram seat. The whole pram seat did come off and can go in the wash. And basically the mattress and the little cover on the bassinet is all that came out. But the basket did come off and it was very, very easy to take off. Just snaps all the way around to get the basket off. So that was easy. I will give it that. I hope that you guys enjoy my videos. And if you do enjoy them, then don't forget to subscribe to me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.